Last weekend I was out shooting a bunch of junk ammo and uh, I got to the point where, you know, I was I was shooting rocks and you know, just anything that uh, came into mind. I had targets up, but the ammo that I was shooting was nothing but pure garbage and I wasn't hitting anything. And then I got down to the last row on the uh, on the targets and I said, you know what, I'm going to try something. So I did. And it worked out in the end, it worked out rather nicely. Now, let's, let me backtrack a little bit here. There's an inherent problem with targets and steel, for the most part, okay? And that is, they're static. They don't move. So, I think to myself, on the way home, after I got through shooting, I was thinking about what I did at the end, and I said, you know what? This could turn into something. So, I thought about it some more. I made a couple of junky targets, and I thought to myself, well, okay, now I've got this done, but what am I going to call this? So I came up with what they call a sweeper challenge, and uh, it's, it's actually kind of neat. Uh, what you do is, instead of the targets moving, you move the rifle, just like you're following a, a game or, or something that's moving around on the ground. Now, I'm going to show you what, I, what I've developed, and uh, tell you exactly how it works. I haven't shot any of my good targets that I developed and I'm going to do that this week and today's Friday. I'm going to go out Sunday. Tomorrow I'm really busy and Sunday I'm going to go out and shoot them and uh, do a video and, and I was shooting at 25 yards. Now you can shoot these at any distance you want and I'm going to show you some of the targets. Okay? Be right back. Okay, this is what I came up with. There's a, it's a strip of paper, you can see, that's five inches wide, or five inches deep, this way. And it's like the 30 inches, 30, 26 inches, depending on how long you want to make them. Now, you can set these for any range. I made these to shoot at 25 yards as a test. And uh, you know, I want to make it a little bit difficult on myself. Over here at the beginning, I'm going to move this over a little bit. You'll see over here a line with an S that means start. That's where you put your, your crosshairs or that's where you, that's your aiming point. And then what you do, when you start over here, you move the rifle along the line. And, when you, and you keep the rifle moving the whole time. When you get to it, shoot and keep moving to the next one. Okay? Then you stop. Then you go back to the beginning again. And you move along and you shoot and you keep going and you stop and you just do that for the whole page okay now like I say I tried it with a junk one that I made I didn't keep it because it just it looked terrible all it was was a bunch of little X's on the paper and uh, it's not as easy as it looks and I, I tell you it's it's a real challenge and that's why I call it the sweeper challenge because you sweep you sweep across the target okay now, I've made two or three different kinds. I think three. Well, actually, the other one is just a little bit larger. Here's the same thing, but it's a little bit larger. And I don't put it, I, I've used a, uh, a red dot on here for the start. And then you just go across. I didn't put a heavy line on this one because this is more for the advanced type people. <laughs> and then we get to the real challenge. Okay, this one here has smaller targets again. It starts out over here with the S. And what you have to do is follow the line. You can't just go from the start down to here. You have to, after you shoot this one, you have to follow the line. So you go up, after you've shot it, you come down and shoot. But you have to keep moving. Then you come back again, you go up, down, up, shoot, and keep moving. You never stop the rifle until you're off the paper, okay? Or you're, or you're at least one dot past where you're supposed with the, at the one you just shot. And as I said, this is not something that is easy to do. It's pretty tough. Uh, <laughs> I probably shot maybe five or six times at the same holes, and I was doing the junk one. And I had, let's just say, let's just go back here to this one, just for the sake of chuckles. And when I came across here and I was shooting, I would hit one, and then another one, then the next, the next, the next, on down. Then I went back, and I would shoot again. I had holes all over the place on here. 
<laughs> it was because you know it's hard to even keep it on the line, let alone hit the target. Now there were a couple of them that I did actually hit pretty well close to the center. At other times it got just a little piece of it. I was shooting at uh, about I guess it was probably three quarters of an inch in diameter targets uh, circles, and it you know it's not easy to do. It's it's pretty damn tough. Anyway. If you want, you can just make these yourself. Uh, make them whatever size you want. If you want to go out to 50 yards, you can make the circles much larger, the targets much larger. Uh, the only problem is that you're going to need uh, a, a, a target stand that'll stretch out a ways. Uh, you can tack two of them together end to end and uh, just fill up, fill up this one. Instead of putting a red dot here, you can put a couple more targets on it and then tape them together any way you want to do it, okay? And uh, use a piece of big, big, big piece of cardboard. And just stick them on, and have at it from there. Okay. I think that about does it. I can't think of anything else to tell you about this except that uh, this uh, sun day after tomorrow, Sunday, I'll be out at the range and I'll shoot one of these. I don't know which one. Maybe I'll shoot all three. I don't know. Anyway, that's about it. Uh, see you out at the range, and we'll go from there. I'm going to shoot the white one. Alright. Which one are you going to shoot? The white one, no. No! I'll shoot the green one on the left. Okay. He's all, no! I'm going to try to shoot it. John does it. Oh, man. Come on. First shot. Oh. I don't want to play the game anymore. Mine's gone. Yeah, it is. And you said you never shot the wire. Hey, look at that. I got it on the move, too. I think you got that tangled. No, it's just a NATO. That's awesome.